Hi, I'm Steve Bonner, President of Printing Industry Midwest. We're here today to talk about the issues of workforce development. This is an area of critical importance to our members and PIM. In addition to our long-running scholarship program administered by the PIM Education Foundation, we have a number of programs in the pipeline that are helping members build the workforce of the future. They'll be rolling out over the next year. But the question is, what can members do today to meet these needs? We put that question to two expert workforce development consultants who are with me here today. We've got a pilot program that they're leading and they're gonna explain the value and how you can participate. Jeff Niebuhr is the former workforce development dean at the Minneapolis Community and Technical College. Dave Kornecki is an expert with the Minnesota and Illinois legislatures in the area of workforce development and public policy. They're gonna be explaining to you how over the next few months, you're gonna take advantage of government programs, financial incentives, and other programs, and how they're gonna help you bring them to life. So Dave, why don't you take it away and tell us a little bit about the program and how you're working with our members. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Um, so what we're doing right now is, is working with PIM members to really learn from them. What are they doing in regards to workforce development? What are their needs? And what, are they, what have they done in the past that have either been successful or not successful? And then from there, Jess and I are hopeful to fill in the gaps, you know, identify some resources and some programs in which are available to them in which you know they could either pursue on their own or they can work with jess and i to help them through that application process right so as steve said earlier we've created a list of federal and state programs available to businesses in the pim midwest region we are working on a pilot program now to identify interest in these resources and begin helping those who are interested in applying for the programs while each state has somewhat different programs and application processes, our goal is to take the mystery out of these processes and make it easy for PIM members to consider business assistant programs and apply for them. In one of our first meetings with a PIM member, we learned that companies were frustrated with the talent pipeline and we're looking for solutions to address this issue. Yeah, so Thanks for PIM and their leadership. Like to our knowledge, this is kind of the first type of service that like right. this that's being offered. So thank you, Steve, for your leadership and for bringing us on board. And, and really what, what we're, we're learning and becoming more efficient as we're learning and becoming more efficient with PIM members uh, as we do this pilot project. Uh, we're, we're excited about uh, what we're, what's gonna come out of this because we know that our database is just gonna grow. Right now we started off with the database of just state resources. And from there, we're gonna expand that to local city and county programs as well. So just to reiterate, our focus is just on workforce. So we're looking at uh, including recruiting and training and hiring. And then the programs that we're predominantly looking at and the resources available are with the registered apprenticeship, training partnerships, internship and internship financial support as well as some federal tax incentives for hiring. So uh, with that, some of these are fairly complex. And so Jess and I are more than happy to take your employers through. Some are fairly simple in which, you know, more or less just bringing it to light, they'll be able to uh, take advantage of them uh, in the near future. And so really our goal is to make sure that any PIM member that needs or wants to participate in these uh, programs is aware of them and is supported when applying for them. Great. Um, well, it's a fantastic program. We've already just begun. You've had conversations with members to date and already some exciting results are being experienced. So uh, I think it's an amazing opportunity for printing industry Midwest and something that I think other affiliates are gonna be looking at uh, because of the value you're gonna provide. Now, there are ways for companies to participate now. Um, there's a few companies that are already in our pilot program. We've got a couple spots left, so people can reach out to me if they want to participate in the pilot program. And you're going to be explaining these programs in more detail on a new Smart Cafe event we're holding on November 13th. The Smart Cafe events are events that we hold both in-person luncheons in Des Moines, Omaha, and Minneapolis, and we make them available remotely as well for those people who are unable to get away. 
um, to make it more accessible. So this is November 13th. You both will be involved. You'll be bringing some more experiences of, of between now and then of the conversations that you're having. Uh, and you'll be explaining some of those resources uh, in a little bit more in depth. Um, so looking very much forward to having you guys. Um, appreciate your leadership in this. And uh, uh, thank you and looking forward to uh, big things to come.